as usual before we begin with this video allow me to shamelessly plug my channel so if you haven't subscribed already what else are you waiting for go and hit the button down below and also don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll get notified once I upload a new video Okay, first off, I want to greet you guys belated Happy Chinese New Year to all my Chinese and non-Chinese friends. I'm not Chinese, but I live in Macau, so we kind of celebrate Chinese New Year as well. And one of my favorite things about Chinese New Year, besides the red pockets, of course, is the Chinese New Year sale! 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 So every year, most of the shops, if not all the shops here in Macau, go on a massive sale before the Chinese New Year holidays. And if you know your girl well, you know that I love to shop the sales but then again what girl does it right so this is why we have this video for this week because I want to show you guys all the stuff that I got from the Chinese New Year sale shopping that I did so without further ado let's get on with this video we'll start off with bottoms because I got quite a lot of them when I shopped this time around I guess because I've always been on the lookout for like cute or cool looking bottoms that's not just you know plain blue or black jeans like I want to have more options for bottoms because I have a lot of t-shirts that I want to style in any weather and so I think cute looking bottoms are the solution to that so I got quite a lot of them this time around so yeah let's get to the first item and we have this blue jeans from Bershka but this is not just any regular jeans so this is a wide leg cut jeans and I really like the fit of it it gives you that early 2000s kind of vibe without it being too low waisted and that's what I really like about it and it's also the perfect kind of blue shade of denim and I like this detail at the bottom so it has a slit as you can see right there so it gives you that really worn out kind of relaxed fit and I love it about that so I got this in a size 38 it's a size bigger than what I usually get from most fast fashion brands but I like that it's also a little bit loose on me so I like the fit of it and that's why I decided to get in this size instead of my regular size I got it for only $89 that's Hong Kong dollars so that's around uh, between 10 to 12 US dollars so I think it's such a steal so the next item that I have here is a pair of white denim jeans I can't get enough of white denim jeans lately I don't know why it's because they just look so clean and they go with literally almost anything from my closet be it like t-shirts or tank tops or crop tops or I don't know just basically any kind of tops so I really like wearing white denim jeans I have quite a few of them already I have one from Zara I have one from Alan if I'm not mistaken that I bought in Korea but this is another one that I want to add to my collection I really like the contrast stitching in the pockets I think that's what really spoke to me and I do like the cut that it's kind of a line if that makes any kind of sense it's a little bit narrow on the waist but then it goes really wide at the bottom so that's what I like about it and it just looks so clean and I like it it fits really well so this one's from GU if you're not familiar with GU it's a Japanese brand under who's texting me So this one's from GU and if you're not familiar with GU, it's actually a Japanese brand under the Uniqlo group if I'm not mistaken and they're really really cheap so I got this for I think only 119 Hong Kong dollars I don't have the label with me anymore because I already took it out when I wore it I wore this a couple of days ago for a style post on my blog I think I can link that up if the post is already up I'm not sure I don't know when this video is going up and my post is going up but I think this video will go up first so I don't know, just check out my blog and you'll see me wearing this in an outfit post. Then I have another pair of pants that I got also from GU. It's this brown corduroy kind of trousers and I really like it. I wanted to get this the first time I saw it in GU but I wanted it in a different color in blue. I posted it on Instagram. Unfortunately, they didn't have my size when I tried them on. I tried on the extra large and this is the large one. Oh, this is a medium. So I think I tried on the large one at that time and I didn't like how it fit. It was too big on me. So I decided not to get this one and the blue one the first time around. But then when we went back to GU during the holidays, I found that this one was on sale. Of course, the blue one was already sold out, but they still had these available. They had a medium, which is my size. And I decided to just finally get it because, you know, it's already on sale. Like, why not? I got it for only 79 or 89 Hong Kong dollars. So half the price, I would say, why not? Go for it, right? The next item that I got is this khaki denim bottoms. It is actually denim. It's not um, 
I don't know, it's not linen or anything or whatever khaki pants are usually made of 100% denim but I really like it because it kind of reminds me of those worker pants that you can buy off from brands like Carhartt or Stussy and those brands can be pretty expensive you know, I'd spend over $500 if I wanted to buy a pair of pants from those brands and this kind of style but this one is only this one only cost me 200 something I can't remember exactly how much this is from Aland a brand called 3.3 filter so I only got this for 200 something dollars and it's a great fit I like the square pockets and I like that it's kind of cropped but not really it just fits me exactly and I like that it's kind of like a mom jeans but then not really it's I don't know how to explain it, it just fits really well It's a nice cut, it's unique and I like the color, it's neutral It will go with a lot of the stuff in my closet and it will go with sneakers so well So it's a great deal By the way, this is not on sale but you know, it's cheap so why not include it in this video The next item that I have is not from around here actually It's not from around the Chinese New Year sales But it was also on sale so I figured why not include it in this video And it's another trousers that I got from ASOS no less and it's from a brand called Milk It Vintage The sizing is a little bit complicated They don't have exact sizing So it only says on the store that this is a size S or M So I got it But actually as you can see on the try on It's quite big on me But I think I like it that way because it's so baggy and it just reminds me of those like 90s, 2000s hip hop kind of style If I have a flatter belly, I would like style it with a really cute crop top or tube top But unfortunately, I'm not in very good shape right now So I don't know, I'm just gonna style it however it will suit me I'll have a blog post on this as well I wore this two days ago and I shot with Pierre for an outfit post on my blog So if the link is already up, I'm gonna link it down there If not, then just go and stay tuned on my blog and also on my Instagram I'll surely be posting a photo of me wearing this So stay tuned By the way, yeah, if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet do it right now! My handle is at Miss Carla Violet, and of course, you have the link to my blog down there as always. Oh, I also linked up my Instagram down there as always, so just go and check it out. Go and follow right now. Let's connect. And then I have this other item. It's not a trousers, but it is a pair of overalls. The reason that I haven't got around to wearing it is because this is made for tall people and your girl is petite so I have to make a few adjustments to the straps and shorten it a little bit as you can see on a try on they're kind of like falling off but otherwise I really like this color this one I didn't get from any particular store we happened to walk across a market in Hong Kong I don't know what the market is called but we went to Sham Shui Po and that's about it we just walked around Sham Shui Po and found a stall selling a few cool stuff like overalls like denim overalls and I saw this and it's really cheap I got it for only $99 which is for me still a little bit expensive for a market price given that you can buy a branded pair of overalls for $99 from let's say oh monkey that's where I got my blue denim overalls so I got that for $100 and that's monkey but then it's also kind of hard to find like the perfect white denim overalls Unless I have to like go travel maybe and hunt for them in like let's say Korea or Japan or I don't know So this is already a good purchase for me There's one store that I've always wanted to visit in the Philippines um, Pierre introduced it to me, it's called Tropa Store And the carrier brand called Out of the Line And they have like similar products to these They have like really clean looking overalls, dresses, you know tops And unfortunately when we went there last time we were in the Philippines it was closed But we'll try to see if we can go there uh, next month. Oh yeah, Pierre and I are going to the Philippines next month, so I don't know. We'll see. But for now, this will make do until I get my hands on a pair of like uh, overalls from Out of the Line. Moving on to outerwear, I have this cool-looking corduroy jacket. It's one of those items that I would kind of like splurge on from brands like Stussy or Carhartt. This is me wearing it on Instagram and it's really really cool. So I wore it with the uh, corduroy pants that I got from GU and they just match and go well together. I like it. So this is in a size medium. Again, I didn't get the exact size that I usually go for. I usually wear a small but then I want this to be a little bit big so that when I layer it with um, tops underneath, it will still like really fit me in a way that I don't look squished I like most of my clothes 
loose fitting so i always try to like upsize or buy them in a size bigger than i would usually wear and then i have here with me the ultimate purchase of this season this white puffer coat i love this i mean it's not like i would buy a puffer coat every day right and you know puffer coats can be really really expensive if you had to invest in one but Macau's weather, there's really no need for you to wear a puffer coat except for this winter because I don't know, it suddenly became super cold for like two weeks or so and I just wanted to snuggle up with something really thick when I go out and you know, not freeze to death and I found this on the racks of Bershka for a fraction of its original price I bought it only for $119 if I remember correctly so I had to like immediately grab the last, the second last pair and head straight to the cashier and just pay for it. I just had to bring it home with me and I didn't regret it because for a couple of days I've been wearing this nonstop when it was really really cold out here and it just covered me up like a blanket. And then moving on to tops, I only bought one top actually and it's not even from the sales but it's thrifted. I found this in one of the local thrift stores that we have in San Malo nonetheless. And it's this Tommy Hilfiger striped collared top. It's a gem, I tell you, because this is so trendy right now. I really like it. I have a similar one that I bought in Korea from Spao. The one that I got from Spao is in green. And this one has thinner stripes, so it's still slightly different. And of course, it's Tommy, so what's there to complain about? The price is only 79 Hong Kong dollars which is super cheap considering they are Tommy again I would say that so yeah this is a gem and I love it I haven't gone around to wearing it but I will one of these days and then I have a pair of boots if you follow me on Instagram I have been raving about these boots they're so pretty glittery and all that pointy and all that and these are over the knee boots and I only bought them for $99 from Zara. They used to be $499 or $599 if I'm not mistaken. I wouldn't spend $599 on this pair of boots from Zara. I'd rather buy a pair of sneakers, but for $99, I wouldn't say no to that. So that is it, you guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to also subscribe again if you haven't already. This is me signing off and I'll see you guys in the next video.